Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lucas Monster, and today we're going to be talking about the one and only Black Series Gaming Greats boss figure. And uh, the main reason I wanted to make this video is because there was a ton of controversy right now over the figure, whether people like it, whether they don't. And uh, yeah, so we're going to address all that, some of the reasons why people like it, some why they don't, and what I think of it overall. So real quick, if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe because we are actually doing a giveaway on the channel. We are giving away this arc trooper echo it is sealed and ready to ship once we hit 5k and how that giveaway is going to work you have to be subbed and then once we hit 5k i'll make a giveaway video all you have to do is comment on that video to enter and uh yeah like i said you do have to be subbed though to enter so make sure you hit that sub button and on to the video and one last thing before you actually get in that video we were like less than 50 subs away from 4,000 subscribers so if you are not subscribed it just means a ton to me and uh, i do really appreciate it it means a whole lot more than you know so if you are not subscribed please hit that sub button and let's get to that 4,000 subscriber milestone. Anyway, so if you guys did not know, Hasbro actually did reveal the Black Series Boss or 1138 figure into the Gaming Greats Black Series line. And this is a figure that at least I've been asking for and I know a ton of other people have been asking for for a long, long time in the Black Series. And uh, they finally did it and there has been some controversy over the figure. Um, one thing right off the bat is a figure looks like it is too red. The uh, figure is an orange figure, at least the, the paint on him is orange, and uh, in the promo shots it does look a little too red. And I'm not too worried about this. Obviously I think it's too red. I think that my custom that you actually see in front of you is too orange. I think that one is just slightly too bright, a little too neon, it should be a little bit darker. But I think that the one that has been revealed is a little too red. and. Like I said, I'm not too worried about that, and that's because in most promo shots, the images are actually darker than they show up in person. I don't know why this is, but it's mainly with reddish-orange colors, uh, like the ah Ahsoka Tano 332nd Trooper. This guy was super dark, super like weird shade of orange in the promo images, and it looked really weird. I was like actually hating on this uh this image when it first came out because i'm like it's just not the right shade of orange and then we actually got that figure in hand and it looked a lot lot better so i'm thinking that this is going to be the really the same deal with boss uh at least i'm hoping so i i imagine it will be and i think once we actually get that figure in hand it'll look a lot better at least uh color shading wise the thing a lot of people were upset about is that it does reuse the hunter body instead of making a brand new clone commando mold and this is another thing that I'm kind of all right with obviously the hunter mold is a skinnier body more representative of the animation uh, or I guess the animated style for the clone commando armor and uh, they decided to go with that instead of making a new mold and uh, really I'm fine with that I, I really am it does take away some of the coolness factor of boss just because he's not as bulky as he is in the video game but the saving thing for me is the fact that we do actually see him in clone wars and he does look like this in clone wars so it's not like this is like completely out of the blue, hey, this looks nothing like Boss, because we've had a version of Boss that does look like this in canon. Actually, the only official canon version of him that we've seen, because the Republic Commando video game isn't technically canon, so uh, I guess this is a more canon representation of Boss, if you wanted to say that. While I much would prefer the bulkier look, this is something I can look past. I've seen people on Instagram and other platforms comparing this to other Boss custom figures figures and they're like look at all the detail that Hasbro left out they could have easily made a new mold all this kind of stuff and I'm just like in my head I'm like yeah you're comparing a $20 Hasbro figure to a $200 custom figure like I I understand like the fact that hey if a person can customize this then Hasbro can do it too I totally get that and I think they probably should and they should put in that extra mile but again it's a 20 20 it's like a 26 dollar figure it's not a hundred dollar 150 dollar custom figures so really you got to take what you can get Another reason I think that it's actually a good idea to reuse this hunter body for the commando is it actually now sets a standard for what all clone commandos should look like in the Black Series. Rather than having a hunter with a skinny body and then a new clone commando with a bulkier body and then another one with a different body, this one allows it to have a precedent through all of the different clone commandos because hunter basically wears clone commando armor, whether you want to believe it or not. So, I mean, rather than just having hunter next to boss next to... Th 
uh, fixer, you know, next to all those and all having different armor. This at least uh, flushes out the line a little bit more and it, it makes it look similar between the two figures. And that's something I can't appreciate because I know a lot of people are like, they they dislike the difference between the new clone armor versus the old one. Like, what if I put them next to each other? They don't look right on the shelf. And this is, I guess, a better way to just flesh out the line. But honestly, the biggest problem I have with this figure, and the one that's really, really bothering me, is the helmet. This helmet looks whack. Absolutely weird. I don't know what's up with this, but it's, like, malformed. It does not look like a commando helmet. It, like, bulges at the ears, and then it, like, comes down at the chin, and then comes back down at the top. And it, like, it should be pretty straight all the way through. And even in Clone Wars, it's pretty straight. It doesn't really have this weird or circular shape. And I think this does have something to do with Hasbro using the, like, uh, Tamor Morrison head sculpts underneath the new helmets. And I think that does have a problem, really, with, like, malforming the helmets. So, obviously, you might just be able to take a blow dryer to this, heat it back up, and it'll form right back to how it should be. But, yeah, this helmet just looks really, really weird whenever it just bulges out in the middle. And honestly, the only other problem for me is the lack of accessories. This is a $27 figure on GameStop, and he only comes with one blaster. I mean, in the game, he had, obviously, this blaster, but he had the pistol, he had a sniper, he had a rocket launcher, he had countless weapons, he had a knife. You know, there's so many different stuff you can include with this guy, and they decide to only include one figure, and that's or one accessory, and that's just a problem throughout the entire Black Series line. It's not just Boss, but, you know, I just recently got into Marvel Legends a little bit more, and I bought the Thanos and Iron Man 2-pack. That set comes with, like, three different heads for Iron Man, four for Thanos, each with three different sets of hands. Like, it's insane. And then they're gonna go and only include one blaster with Boss. I know, obviously, Marvel and Star Wars are different, but, man, it, it just really, really makes it tough to collect Black Series whenever they're not including all those accessories for a $27 figure. But either way, honestly, I'm really happy with this figure. I know a lot of people are hating on it and like, Hasbro, you need to stop just using cheap remakes. But honestly, this is what I'm fine with because it's a pretty solid remake. It's one of those where the armor is pretty close to where I don't think it really warrants a brand new mold. And overall, I'm pretty happy with this. I've been asking for a boss in the Black Series for so long. and I think the biggest problem is if they don't make the rest of Delta Squad. And that's what I'm really, really worried about. I say realistically, I'd like to see the rest of Delta Squad by this time next year. I want all of them released in the Gaming Greats line. That's what I want. Realistically, I don't see that happening considering that Hasbro likes to do things things where like they'll release like half of a line and then wait two or three years and release another half of that line and it's really weird i know it took them years to release um uh zeb in the black series it took them more years to release you know it took them five years to release the pilot from rogue one so that's my main fear is that they just don't get all of delta squad out boss is cool but he's even cooler with the rest of delta squad so but yeah honestly that's what i think about the boss figure comment down below what do you guys think about it is it too skinny too red etc and uh yeah i just like to know you guys opinion so like i said if you're not liked or subscribed do that and uh see you guys in the next video